Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Yozzy Tex, and this is going to be another Tarkov tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about recoil and how to control it. So there's two different ways that we're going to be actually looking at on how to control your initial recoil jump, as well as another method to tighten up your actual recoil pattern as well, so you can hit more PMCs and laser people like the pros. First off, we're going to be looking at the weapon attachments. Now these obviously help with your vertical and horizontal recoil spray pattern. And that's going to be different for every single gun in Tarkov. So I just wanted to point that out. And secondly, a lot of new players don't realize and understand that the ammunition that you're putting in your magazines can actually have an impact on your recoil as well. For example, if we look at the 855 round here, it has a minus five accuracy debuff. But as we step up in damage and penetration to the 5.6A1 and the 5.5A1, you can see here we have a plus four and a plus five recoil debuff. So that's something to take into account. A lot of new players don't actually realize that the ammunition that you're putting in your magazines can actually impact your spray pattern as well. So as we step up to the shooting range here, we're gonna pull out our MK16 and we're just gonna put a spray down on this target just here. And that is the main issue that we have in Tarkov at the moment is the fact that when we put this first spray down, the first bullet will hit and then everything else apart from that jumps up quite significantly and that is because the way recoil works in Tarkov is the very first bullet is going to kick up your barrel and then your PMC will start to learn and compensate for the actual spray and put it into a grouping. Now there's two different ways that we can compensate for this. The first one is going to be the pull down method. Now the pull down method is not new to any kind of FPS players out there that's been playing games like PUBG, Valorant, CSGO etc. However, the pull down is nowhere near as significant as in, in those games. In Tarkov, all we're trying to do is eliminate that very first bullet jump and then our PMC will level and start to compensate for the rest. So all we really need to do is pull down from about that bullet hole down to this bullet hole and that's about it because from there, the PMC will start to level that out. So what I'm gonna showcase here is we're gonna stand up to this very close target and I'm gonna do a pull down spray and we're just gonna try to get all of those bullets in the center mass here. Chuck that in another round. We're gonna go for a slightly further target. So as you can see here, the standing spray pattern when we were pulling down was actually quite nice on a closer target. But as we get out to about 10 meters to 15 meters here, you're actually gonna have a larger spray pattern that's uh, getting a little bit wild here. One way you're gonna instantly reduce that spray pattern though is to drop into a crouch. This is gonna actually reduce the recoil pattern by about 20 to 25%. Chuck this into full auto. As you can see, that's instantly actually reduced that recoil. We've got all of those bullets to actually land within that other spray pattern for the standing. Now this works quite well all the way out to the kind of 20, 30, even further meters here. We're gonna drop down to a crouching position and we're gonna just use the pull down method just like we were. As you can see, it gets a little bit more erratic, but that was a little bit down to my pull down. And that's the big issue with the pull down method is it can be a little bit inconsistent because the recoil jump and the spray pattern is gonna be different for every single gun you use. And not only that, it's very rare that you're actually gonna have a chance to just shoot a full spray on a PMC standing still. Majority of the times when you see a PMC in raid, it's gonna be running left or right across your screen or away or towards you. Now, the method that I use and the second method that we're going to be talking about today for the recoil control is actually a single shot followed by a full auto spray. So what we're going to do right here, we'll do it standing first to kind of showcase there's not really any difference between this one and the pull down method and all we're going to do here is send out a single shot and then we're going to get straight onto our left mouse button again and drop it into full auto. To do the same thing right here one single shot and then we're going to go straight into full auto now we're going to drop that into crouch and i would highly expect this to tighten up that pattern very significantly second mag here As you can see, in my opinion, this method here is a lot more consistent than the pull down method. And the real kind of trump card compared to the pull down method is 
you don't have to worry about having to pull down and then trace and track that player that's running across your screen because once you've pulled down then all of a sudden your gun starts to level out and you might be shooting them in the stomach or lower legs instead of actually getting them in the torso or head. So by doing the single shot and then full auto, chuck that into full, you're instantly getting straight into that leveling out process where you're able to track your character and you're not having to worry about that initial pull down. So if these tips helped you at all today, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get to a thousand subs. And if yourself or any of your friends are new to Tarkov, make sure you're sharing these videos with, it, with them. I'm going to be putting out a lot more of these little trick videos over the next month or so. So I hope you all have some really good raids and I'll catch you guys in the next one.